Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. And as we all know, the Word of God is very clear as to who the Word is. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. As biblical Christians, we know that Jesus Christ is the Word of God, and He did come in the flesh as the Word of God. And the scriptures are clear of all those who would deny that Jesus Christ is the Word and thus did not come in the flesh, they are Antichrist. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. As many of us know, there are a lot of ministries out there that proclaim they are doing the work of God for these last days, but yet they have been yoking up with ministries like this man called Vern Bates that is taking a lot of people down the wrong road. Take a look at what he is proclaiming in these last days. John 16, and we're on verse 13. How be it? When he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Boy, that's a loud cry message to me. John 16, 13. Okay. Then it says, For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Well, let's see what Jesus did when he walked in. Exactly the same thing. Then who is the Word? The Father. The Father is the Word. It's not Christ. Because the Father gave the words to Christ, and Christ gave to the prophet, or to the angel they gave them to the prophet. The Father. The Father is the Word. It's not Christ. It's not Christ. And so, to be clear, this man's name is Vern Bates who has openly denied Jesus Christ as the Word of God, which we all know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He is the Word that was made flesh as the Word of God. But this man openly and boldly proclaims that the Scriptures are lying, thus making himself an Antichrist who is working against the truth. Then who is the Word? The Father is the, the Word. It's not Christ. Brethren, no matter how much truth one claims they have, or what light or any resources that they claim that they have is truth, when we hear Antichrist statements like this, we need to depart and give no heed to these seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, or we will become like them, lost, confused, and full of apostasy. And joining in with them, we must not have any part with it. And any ministry like this that are yoking up and supporting such work, we need to come out from among them and take our stand with the Word of God, or you will again partake of this Antichrist spirit. Remember, brethren, there are no writings in this world that will change the fact that Jesus Christ is the Word of God who did come in the flesh as the Word of God. But of course, the spirit of Antichrist, which denies Jesus as the Word of God, which has always been upon us, is alive evermore, as you have seen, in this offshoot professed remnant ministry from Vern Bates. And some of these ministries today, who are yoked up with this ministry of Vern Bates, where they claim that he has some so-called original writings that supersede the Word of God, is false. Nothing in this world supersedes the Word of God. And anyone who comes to you proclaiming that their words or these supposed writings are above the Scriptures and change the testimonies of the Scriptures 
is the spirit of Antichrist, and we've got to come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. Then who is the Word? The Father. The Father is the Word. It's not Christ. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God.